Uh, hey everybody, it's uh, Jerome and Ashley from Atmosphere Collectibles here, and we've got a video of new releases, some restocks, but mostly new releases. Um, one new release that we'll actually not have until next week is the Michael Jackson Thriller One Step. It was just, uh, it didn't get to the distributor until after they had shipped my order, so that will be here next week. Um, so yeah, other than that, oh, oh, we do have a couple CDs. I'll go ahead and show those first. Uh, we've got the new Pretty Reckless, and it's called Other Worlds. The vinyl's not out yet on that, but the CD is. And then I had a special order for Young Gravy, uh, Marvelous CD. Uh, this is supposed to be autographed on the inside, and um, all of the Young Gravy on vinyl is out of stock. I do have back ordered. Um, so we so, can get the CD if you want it. Yes. So this is uh, we were supposed to get last week, but we didn't get it on time. Um, this is uh, two LP music from season four of the Netflix series Stranger Things. It is a fantastic uh, soundtrack. This is the the songs from the move or the show. Uh, it's not the score, which the score is divided up between. A volume one and a volume two so and that comes out later kate bush uh running up that hill metallica master of puppets you also get journey moby james taylor uh um, division talking heads the cramps um the safaris ricky yeah. nelson beach boys um dead or alive you spin me around around everybody you would want so yeah really great, great compilation it is black vinyl grab one. um that's not a colored vinyl version but uh, we have a, I believe this is an indie exclusive release, and it's a special 7-inch uh, from Chris Stapleton, I'm a Ram. Um, I believe it's also colored vinyl, and it is, uh, it's got I'm a Ram on one side, and then it's got the alternate live version on the B side of this I'm a Ram. So, yeah, Chris Stapleton. Oh, so uh, we've also got a 10-inch here. A double 10 inch from Saves the Day, and it's called Stay What You Are. It is on colored vinyl, and it is um, a two a double 10 inch set. So, okay, we got Future. I never liked you, the number one Billboard album. Brand and, new Future album. Yeah, Future. Hmm. So this came out last week, let me set this here real quick, um, but it, it's an import, so that could be why it was late getting into the distributor, so, um, but it is the reissue of the debut album from a group that Drome and I also really like. Uh, the group is called Ride, and the album is called Nowhere. Uh, it does have a nice embossed uh, part on the cover where it says Ride, um, and it is on colored vinyl. Uh, our friend Brody's really excited about this one. If I can't get more in. You like two gays. Uh, great band, great album. Our favorite album so, from Ride is Going Blank Again, and yeah. Brody's says that his is Nowhere. But they're both excellent albums. Um, really good stuff. So this is kind of a different release. This is uh, The Butcher Strikes Back, Destruction. And this was uh, has the demo tracks, I think, from 89 when the... Uh, the split kind of happened between the band. These were the um, Shmira versions. Uh, so I think Cracked Brain was the album. But um, yeah, this uh, really looking forward to this. This should be great. Old school trash. Uh, I'll be picking up a copy if you want to hear it. We'll grab it up here. And this is one that I'm going to pick up a copy of. It is a reissue of the Reverend Horton Heats album, the full gospel sounds of the Reverend Horton Heat. Uh, I do know that this is colored vinyl. It doesn't say what the color is on here, but uh, it originally came out in 1993, and I had the CD. I was wore it out. Um, Jerome is not a huge fan of that uh, Reverend Horton Heat for some reason, uh, but I will still be playing it. If he's going to play his Destruction album, I will play my Reverend Horton Heat. Uh, but yeah, if you want Reverend Horton Heat and you don't have this album you're gonna want this one uh that's all i can say about it first time on lp at record retail remastered for vinyl by Les and jake um this is great vinyl edition 
Scaffold, it's uh, In With The Out Crowd, Less Than Jake. No, a lot of people have been waiting on that, so. Uh, so we've got the, uh, it's L.S. Dunes, Past Lives. The debut album from L.S. Dunes on limited, it's limited edition packaging and orange crush vinyl. Um, it says featuring Anthony Green, um, Tim Payne, Tucker Rule. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the cover has got a really cool details to it. Um, it's hard for me to really capture in the uh, light. It almost looks like that, but it's good. Yeah. So this is a new Fozzy boombox. Uh, if you're a wrestling fan. Uh, or a metal. A metal project. Um, and it's any exclusive color variant. It just it doesn't say what it is. You know, I don't think hype stickers would be that expensive. I wish that like that they were on more things. Uh, all right, so we finally got a reissue of Missy Elliott's Under Construction. Uh, this is like a huge album when it came out. Like, let's see, it was 2002, and it's got the song Work It, which I used to I used to dance to that often in in the club <laughs> it's a two lp the and uh yeah <laughs> in the club uh earth gang ghetto gods more hip-hop uh yeah earth gang is uh that whole dreamville conglomerate uh j cole that kind of thing so we've got a new dropkick murphy's it's uh dropkick murphy's this machine still kills fa still kills fascist Lyrics of Woody Guthrie. It's on crystal clear vinyl. And uh, I know quite a few people that are pretty excited about it. It says also featuring Woody's grandson, Cole Quest, on uh, dobro, gu dobro guitar and backing vocals. So that's cool. And it's also got a song that's featuring one of the guys from Turnpike Troubadours, and one song's featuring Nikki Lane. Okay, that's really cool. Alright, let's go ahead and knock out the Christmas. Alright, so starting off with Christmas, we got Manaheim Steamroller Christmas in the Air by Chip Davis. That's got some cool, like, gold and silver features on the back. On uh, red vinyl, we have uh, Christmas for Everyone, Michael Bublé, Christmas. It's a number one, the best selling Christmas album in the world. Now that's not a new release, but we had someone ask for it, so we went ahead and grabbed an extra one because it's Michael Bublé. Uh, we've got Lindsey Sterling, Snow Waltz, uh, indie, uh, indie retail exclusive limited edition snowball smoke vinyl plus ornament. Uh, paper ornament, I presume. There's no <laughs> actual. Uh, Louis Armstrong uh, wishes for a cool yule. Wishes um, you a cool yule. That's a tongue twister. Oh, yeah. And this is, uh, is this color vinyl? Uh, don't, doesn't say, but it does uh, have a never be. before heard, uh, spoken word Louis track. Yeah. So. Uh, is that it on Christmas? Oh, no, I got another Christmas. Uh, so I had a special order for this, uh, various artists comp. Um, it is Psychobilly Christmas. And it's on limited edition red vinyl. It also features Reverend Horton Heat. Um, and the Coffin Daggers and the Goddamn Gallows. And we That's saw a special some Vandals and James Brown Christmas. Uh, Rob Thomas Christmas. We got Whitney Houston Christmas. Um, We've got the soundtrack to... Um, go to work. Uh, not <laughs> Christmas, to work. but <laughs> Christmas colors. Um... I've seen Goat Whore in concert. I used to have a Goat Whore t-shirt. Uh, you want to do these? Yeah. So we've got the long-awaited reissue, uh, first ever remaster from the original analog tapes, two LPs with new, newly expanded gatefold jacket, Guns N' Roses Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. So they expanded the gatefold. Nice. Um, now they did do a giant box set of this, uh, we can get that in on order, but we did not order that just for the shelves because it is a pricey beast. So we want 
have to get stuck with one. <laughs> so, oh, and um, finally reissued uh, Revolting Cox. This is a uh, limited edition splatter vinyl, Beers, Steers, and Queers. This is uh, Chris Conley with uh, Alan Dorgerson and um, William Rafflin and uh, Paul Barker from the Ministry. Um, the the splatter, it's like white with the brown splatter, really goes well with the cover. When this uh, originally came out, it's got a lot of play. It was a great record. If you like industrial fan. music, um, really good record. Uh, so we've got a reissue of Bad Religion, How Could Hell Be Any Worse? Uh, this is a colored vinyl reissue. It says translucent clear with black. Um, they've been doing all of, a lot of these um, Bad Religion and all the epitaph. They've been uh, doing reissues on colored vinyl. Uh, more with the uh, Queen 180 gram Half Speed Masters. We have Innuendo and my favorite Queen album, Flash Gordon. So, not a huge uh, Queen fan, but the Flash Gordon album is just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Great movie. So, there's a new K Flay, and it's called Inside Voices, Outside Voices. It's a double EP. Uh, you want to do these RSD Essentials? Yeah. All right. So we've got some RSD Essentials. Uh, we have Johnny Adams, Southside of Soul Street. And this is uh, exclusive white vinyl remix and remaster from the original multi-tape. Now there's another one besides the... Oh, here we go. Uh, is this the luggage? Yeah. So we've got... Now, this doesn't have a hype sticker, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is the instrumental version of Nathaniel Merriweather Presents Lovage, Music to Make Love to Your Old Lady By. Uh, and you might think, well, why would I want an instrumental version? Well, the instrumental of this is, I mean, the album is so great. Um, and it's great, like trip hop, uh, down tempo. Um, but it is uh, something that we can't play really in the store as right. much as we love the Lovage album. Um, um, we actually tracked down the instrumental and um, then we tracked down the non-instrumental, very expensive records before these. Yeah, these reissues. I know when they reissued the uh, like the normal Lovage on colored vinyl, uh, Jerome and I talked it up a lot. If you're new to our channel or new uh, to vinyl, you might not be familiar. Lovage is Mike Patton. Uh, I don't know uh, yeah, Jennifer Charles or the French girl who sings and Dan the Automator. Uh, Nathaniel Merriweather, who has been on a lot, and Deltron 3030. So, uh, but the yeah, gorillas. We, the gorillas. Uh, but um, yeah, so we can't play this uh, like the original Lovage in the store. It's like super, lots of innuendo, and um, I mean, it's called Music to Make Love to Your Old Lady by, but the instrumental version of it is perfect to play. It's great just having it in the background, too, just like really, really good. Great records. Uh, also, Joni Mitchell Blue, I know they just did this, but this is uh, Crystal Clear Vinyl, and it's the RSD exclusive version. Essential. RSD Essentials. Essential. Which is exclusive, too. I mean, yeah. same thing, but it's one of the essential titles. Uh, it is that Bernie Gren Grenman remaster, same as the black, so if you have the black and you don't care if it's colored, you know, you should be covered on that, but if you don't have it, there you go. So we got the new album from the Blue Stones. It's called Pretty Monster. And if you're not familiar with the Blue Stones, they're kind of like a blues rock and roll band. And they're really good. If you're a fan of like the Black Keys, uh, you definitely should check them out. I've got a few customers who are big fans. Uh, this is a black vinyl. So this is an indie retail exclusive new album from Bruce Springsteen. This is a uh, Sundance orange vinyl. Only the Strong Survive Springsteen covers. Volume and, 1? Yeah. That's what it says, Volume 1. So it looks like uh, he does all kinds of stuff on here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. So maybe he'll be doing multiples, Volume 1. Maybe there'll be a Volume 2. But um, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, he's looking super slick and cool on the back next to that muscle car. Showing, showing off his sharp haircut. Uh, all right, so we've got a new album from Frankie and the Witch Fingers. 
And it's called Eating Monsters, Eating People, Eating Monsters, Eating People, Eating Monsters, Eating People. And uh, this is a special edition colored vinyl cosmic snot variant. If you're not familiar with Frankie and the Witch Finger, you should, like, if you like the modern sci fi, uh, definitely check them out. Um, I, I do really like them. If you like uh, the OCs or the OCs or OCs or uh, like even King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, check out Frankie and the Witch Fingers. So this is uh, live at Yankee Stadium, June 22nd and 23rd, 1990. This is a 3LP set, Billy Joel. And this was uh, 22 tracks, uh, two-day run at Yankee Stadium. Newly remixed, remastered from the original tapes. Features 11 <laughs> previously unreleased performances, including Uptown Girl, Only the Good Die Young, Allentown, and more. Uh, so that came out last Friday. By Billy Joel. And um, I ran out. I didn't have enough. for, or I had a few people reach out and decide they wanted it. So, um, let me know if you want it. It is a start the fire, piano man. You'll recognize the majority of tracks on this record. <laughs> so, we've got a uh, brand new Lark and Poe, and it's called Blood Harmony. Uh, this is an indie exclusive colored vinyl. Uh, would have been nice on a hype sticker to say what color it is, but it doesn't. Um, if you're not familiar with Lark and Poe, they're kind of like an indie kind of country, but not too country. Uh, Girl group, they're really good. Onslaught Six, uh, UK uh, metal. Did you already show one of these? I did. I showed the Fozzie. Okay. Uh, so we've got Alice Coltrane, and it's Ta Ta the El Dowd. Um, I'm not known for my. Uh, proper pronunciations but this is a verve by request title and it's manufactured at third man pressing in detroit it is as a 180 gram audiophile quality vinyl um i've got a couple i've got at least one more verb, verb by request that was pressed at third man so very yeah, cool so this right mm -mm. chris oh. isaac san francisco day is also rsd essential so, and I believe this is just black vinyl. Mm, it might be colored, Maybe. you know. I don't know. But I do know that um, it is a harder title to find. I mean, like, to find original of that, I don't know. But uh, we did really well with the other Chris Isaac uh, Record Store Day Essential they did. Um, and so, yeah, that's good to have that in. So we've also, here's another Record Store Day Essential. I think they're sneaking up. So we've got T-Bone Walker stormy monday blues this is on exclusive opaque white vinyl and it's also part of the sun 70th <coughs> anniversary set all right um this is limited edition and <coughs> anniversary edition colored vinyl it doesn't say what color this is uh tom waits alice that's metallic gold and um when he originally put this out, he, this and Blood Money came out at the same time. And same I always day. think of them as kind of like a double release, and they're both great. Yes. Uh, two of my favorite Tom Waits albums. I know they're a little later in his career, but he was they're really, really good. on a upswing. To on put this. out two albums on the same day, you know, I remember um, yeah. when that, we got the CDs. It was 2002. Jerome and I had, well, we've been together for a little bit at that point, but about a year, but... Yeah. yeah, it reminds me of when we first saw And this was these. probably of the two. I don't know. They were both really good. Yeah, they are. Like, it would be hard to pick a favorite. That does have a Reaper Bond on it, though. Uh, so we've got Frank Ballard uh, with Philip Reynolds Band, Rhythm Blues Party. Remastered from the original mono tapes. This is also part of the Sun's 70th Anniversary series. Um Um, turnover, yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is a new turnover album. It's called Myself in the Way. It's on cream vinyl. It has a really nice die cut cover where all the gems are. Um, so that's nice. Uh, if you're, I know from what I've heard on Turnover, like their newer stuff sounds quite a lot different than their older stuff. 
So I have some customers who just love all of the eras of turnover, but I have some people who like the early stuff, some people who only like the new stuff. But definitely worth checking out if you haven't heard turnover. So we've not had this in a while. Um, Megadeth, P-Cells, back in stock. Um, this will go really fast. Yes, that will go super fast. Only one copy. So we've got a brand new Iggy Azalea album. It's called End of an Era, and it's featuring the hit single, I'm the Strip Club. <laughs> I'm the Strip Club? I am the Strip Club. Uh, anyway, it's limited to 2,000 copies on um, red, blue, and purple vinyl. All right, this is uh, Catatonia Dead and Kings. This is a half speed master. Um, definitely a great album. This was, uh, I think, 2012 originally. Um, this is probably my second favorite after Brave Murder Day. Which we have out there, do we? Great record. Oh, we should. Okay. We got Dream Theater, Lost But Not Forgotten, live. Uh, this is Old Bridge, New York, or New Jersey, 1996. And it is a 3LP plus 2 CD. It's the original live recordings from the Escape from the Studio Tour, preceding the release of Falling Into Infinity. Uh, Gorgoroth, Under the Sign of Hell, Norwegian Black Metal, and I think this is Black Vinyl. Nope. Nope. I spy, the only way I knew is because uh, I... Oh, uh, fitting, it's gray yeah. Black Vinyl. <laughs> so, early Gorgoroth, classic record. So, we've got a reissue of Tupac, All Eyes on Me. Uh, this is a 4LP four set. Records. And I know, like, uh, also, so it's a reissue, and um, it's a little bit pricey. It, it's pricier than whenever you used to be able to find the reissue of this uh, before it kind of, like, uh, went out of print. It is part <coughs> of the, it is a universal title, so it's also under that umbrella of universal price increases. It's Tupac, and it's a 4LP. So all of those factors make for a... Uh, Bullet For My Valentine, Deluxe Edition, Transparent, Baby Blue Vinyl, includes bonus track. So we got Dermot Kennedy's brand new album on exclusive white colored vinyl, and it is called Sonder. And he's like an Irish singer, songwriter, or I don't know if that was right. He... I don't know. But yeah, singer songwriter part's right. I don't know where he's going. Uh, Matchbox 20, yourself or someone like you, this is the 20th anniversary, diamond certified, pressed on red vinyl, classic Matchbox 20 album. Uh, so we have the new Seth of Evett Sings Greg Brown release. Um, I That was a new release from last week, and I ran out, and I have a special order for another one, so... Um, that's, it, let me know if you want one, but it'll probably be black. All right, uh, Menzinger's, um, limited edition colored vinyl. Does it say what color? It um, doesn't. I still and, have not really listened to them, their catalog yet, but, um, I love, I think they're named after the mech robot. I hope they're named after the mech robot. I think it's called On the Impossible, On the Impossible Past Plus on the possible past includes both albums and updated artwork so it looks like two albums in a gatefold on colored vinyl to be determined there. the color <clears throat> so the new i prevail album called trauma and this is also it's on colored vinyl also does not say <laughs> we have a lot of people waiting on that one. So this is uh, Terry Allen and the Panhandle Mystery Band Bloodlines. It looks really interesting. It's got the uh, lamb on the front and it's got the knife on the back and I believe it is country. Um, yeah. This was a special order so I have not heard it but it does look interesting. 
so this is another verb by request uh, manufactured at Third Man in Detroit on 180 gram audiophile vinyl. It's Roy Brooks and it's called Beat. So. Um, Puff Daddy and the Family, No Way Out. This is the 25th anniversary multi platinum uh, limited edition white vinyl. That came out last week, and um, I ran out, so I decided to get an extra copy for the bins. I remember when this came out, it was so huge. Like, um, I got a restock of the recent First Aid Kit album, uh, Palomino, and it's on white vinyl. Uh, restock it, here it is, a tribute to Leonard Cohen. We ran out of last week, but we... Great title. God. Really good. Multiples in this week. So. The art, the Nora Jones. Iggy Pop, James Pop, Taylor. Peter Gabriel. Uh, so good. Yeah. David Gray, uh, Sarah McLaughlin. Uh, so I got a restock. Here's my Taylor Swift restocks of. We got 80, 1989, Reputation, and the green vinyl, the jade vinyl version of Midnight's. We have some My Chemical Romance restocks. We have uh, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. And we have the Black Parade. So I believe that one's a special order. And this one's for the bins. But I can get this back in stock if somebody wants it. We should wrap it up because someone's going to come in. Okay, so back in stock. Ray Charles duets. <laughs> Sing sounds great. We just opened a copy to play for somebody recently. Sounds really good. Uh, we have a copy. So we got Mac Miller um, Circles and Blue Slide Park back in stock. Scorpions, uh, Rock Believer. Uh, sounds like Scorpions. Um, Summerland, uh, Dream Killer. Uh, uh, this is on Purple Vinyl, Relapse Records. You look like look. <laughs> Are you just picking that one up? Uh, we're almost done. Bonnevere and the War on Drugs. These were special Did orders. Did you Mac Miller? Yep. Okay. Uh, Culture Wall, Imaginary Ap Apache Land. <laughs> yeah. Not neat. Uh, this was a special order. It's Wolf, uh, Wolf Mother, self titled. Um, let me know if we need a copy War, of that. War Doggy Dog, Music on Vinyl. We are almost. Out of, out of these. these so if you want it and you don't want to pay ebay prices let us know uh we are almost out uh revocation elysium that's also a special order but i can't get more in archfire bleed the future third pressing black vinyl 1000 copies uh sleeping with sirens new album complete collapse on colored vinyl and let's see, do we have anything else? Yeah, just a couple more. Um, restocks on the weekends. We got Echoes uh, of Silence and Thursday. Allison Chan's Dirt. Now, I don't know. Yep, that's available. This is available? Mm -hmm. I got extras. Uh, and Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stadium Arcadian. This might be the last box I'm able to get for a while. Marty Robbins, Gunfighter Ballads and Trail Songs, uh, Orange Vinyl, 180 gram. And that looks like it. Now we're starting right. to get busy, so we should go ahead and wrap this up. Um, hope you have a great weekend. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching Hopefully our videos. We'll have time to do a use video this weekend. So. Yeah, we'll be working on pricing. Anyway, right. bye.